Hello Cancer! Welcome to the channel, my beautiful friends. I love your energy. Thanks for joining me today. Let's jump into this reading. All right, bottom of the deck. Two of Swords. Okay, well, there's some challenges. It's okay. We got the Emperor. There's success ahead. All right. In the recent past, you and your person have thrown caution to the winds with the Page of Wands. That's your mutual energy. In the mutual energy that is working at hand right now is Knight of Pentacles. How your person is viewing your connection overall, Temperance card. How they view you, the World card, highly successful. In their heart space, they want to have a rebirth in love, a transformation. We see that they want to work things through with you. How they view the situation going forward, the way it would unfold. The mutual energy between the two of you that's secret, that's hidden. Spirit's advice to you, Cancer. And your outcome card, Ace of Cups. Okay, so I am liking it. I want to kind of straighten out the table there. I'm so fussy about my cards. Okay, okay, overall, this looks delicious. Okay, to the sea is really about the two of you thinking things through. It's a very solitary process that you've both been through before you threw caution to the winds. Both of you want to be very fair to one another in this relationship, and we see that with the temperance energy. No place like home. We see that both of you are in love with one another. Your heart space is wide open. We see that you, you look at each other. You don't see anybody but one another. You have an obsession. There's nobody else that either one of you want. The only caveat here is we'll talk about the devil. It's usually somebody who just it has that, you know, we all know controlling people. Some of the people we love most in our lives have control issues. Those control issues are usually based on old wounds, but they do get in the way. The Page of Wands, what is this throwing caution to the winds, being flirty, being excited, joyful to see each other, wanting to make a little love, kiss, be fun, you know, just really enjoying yourselves. So we get the Four of Wands, holy cow, right out of the deck. We get great stability in your connection. As you can see, this is a traditional marriage card. There's a bride and a groom there. Um, so it does say that both of you see one another in a very positive light. That is mutual energy. The Knight of Pentacles is doing the work day in, day out, putting your feet on the ground, put your boots on, go to work, do the, do the work of the relationship. You're slow moving, but you're moving forward. I like the Knight of Pentacles. Magician card, oh my God, this is Virgo energy. The Page of Wands is Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius energy is also the Temperance card. The Temperance card and Sagittarius energy are expansive. So what I'm seeing here is that you and your person are not even talking about the direction of the relationship, but you're in this fabulous energy of moving things forward, manifesting. The Magician card, you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. It can be just energy, but this is manifestation. We see the Magician conjuring magical things out of nothing, but you have the tools to do it. The stability is here. I love the fact that there are four tools for the Magician. We have swords, the intellect, water, the emotion, we get the coin of just basic actions and the wands of being passionate and how that drives your action. So we get a lot of passion here. We get very grounded energy. Both of you are in a very stable, stable environment in your relationship. The temperance card means that your person wants to be very balanced, very fair. They want a fabulous relationship with you that is so strong that if both of you want to be independent and go do things with friends or family, 
separate from one another. You have a guardian angel protecting your relationship, that that is their goal. That is what they want to do, and they feel they can do it with you. The King of Cups energy, your person loves you to the depths of their very soul. King of Cups is Scorpio energy, somebody who keeps it a secret usually, somebody who's in control of their emotions, but their emotions run deep. Deep waters run deep. So we see this person really poised here. They're very much appreciative of the love that you bring to the table. They feel that you are foundational in their life. They, they're looking right at you. Look at this. Look at this energy. Everything's pointed towards manifesting in the reading. The world card here. The world card indicates that your person thinks you are very successful in your life. They see you as a very reliable, competent, successful business person. They see you as someone who has it all. Once again, we get the magician on one end, the number one, and we get 21 on the other opposite end of the a cycle, a whole cycle of major arcana. This is also the four elements. What has helped you reach the point of great success cancer is that you have manifested a wonderful skill set life ability to earn money and ability to bring a lot to the table I love the energy it shows that both of you are business leaders in your own way the death card so the death card oftentimes means a death and rebirth it's tip the typical meaning is death and rebirth so you may have had for many of you you may have had a period of time in which you didn't see each other uh, the the relationship may be born again and that is phoenix rising from the ashes so let's see what the clarifier is see here it is i love it your person is willing What's rebirthing in their heart space is a desire to be very generous with you, Cancer. They want to give a lot to the relationship. And I think historically they did not. I think that they were just sort of, you know, day at a time, sort of loosey-goosey. But now foundations are being built. There's this manifestation that's taking place quietly behind the scenes. I don't think either of you are talking about it in particular, but your person knows that they want to be much more generous with you. Tell us more about the death card, five of wands. So your person is does have some conflicts about about relationships i don't see this as with you how does how does your person feel about relationships well they definitely want one ace of cups ace of cups and they want it with you and justice card they want to be very fair so that's what i see missing in the past i don't think this person was fair with you because we got the death card things ended this person looks as though you know, they weren't involved in equal give and take, but here they are, the rebirth, the rebirth is right here, the Ace of Cups, the rebirth of a beautiful love relationship and a very deep love that both of you have. Uh, the Justice card also can mean that there could be a wedding uh, that would be very indicative of a legal obligation. That's marriage partners, business partners, but the Justice card is usually the marriage certificate. So when we look at the devil card, tell us about the devil. King of Wands. <laughs> okay, I have to tell you the secret of this devil. Oh, there, you know, devils can be just little boys with short pants on. Okay, it could be little girls with whatever, but you know what I, I mean. I don't know if you know what I mean, but let me try to explain it better. This person is obsessed with you sexually. <laughs> The devil card. I mean, I would just have to say that when you're together, I think you could get really frustrated because you're like, okay, I mean, calm down, Skippy. <laughs> Don't get overly excited here. Um, you know, you, I'm not going to just do what you tell me just because you're feeling all, you know, horned up, so to speak. Okay, well, let's see what else. But I, the King of Wands is a very sexy energy, but it's also the energy of somebody who's like a firefighter, somebody who wants to rush in and take charge and make everything work right. And, you know, he thinks he's the only one that can do it. 
He just meaning the masculine energy. We have the Page of Swords. Your person watches you secretly. Oh, goodness. Oh, they don't want anybody else around you. This person has a little jealousy thing going on here that they have never told you about. What else do we have? We have the hanged man. They are trying to look at things from a different perspective. I do think your person has gone through a rough period with that death card. The three of swords says that they have had heartbreak. It looks as though it also could be because of something that ended here. Again, this could be a business partnership in which somebody really worked them over. I feel as though your person is has been in a struggle even possibly for those of you for whom it resonates it won't be everybody's story for sure but it does look like there could be some heartbreak in business or a business partnership in which somebody was um, treated them unfairly let's focus more now spirit just tell us about the devil card and how it resonates with just cancer who has come to this reading tell us more about that three of cups there we go i knew we were kind of getting off on a tangent so we do see the three of cups you are not only the love of their life you are their best friend we also get the energy of the seven of swords they just don't tell you they're being very sneaky right now <clears throat> they're being very sneaky right now and they're not telling you that you are their queen of pentacles so they do see you as their person but they haven't told you why haven't they told you <laughs> oh my god they're too busy thinking about about the sheets, about the bed linens, about the passion, about the excitement. Why are they so focused on that? <clears throat> they don't know how to deal with their feelings so well. They're, that's I'm not making an excuse for them, but they do. They show you their love through their passion. Their wand is their language of love, my friends. I think you knew that. The Three of Pentacles. This is collaboration between the two of you. It's your mutually felt energy. Aries energy. They see you as hot, hot, hot. They see you as really reliable, really powerful, very strong, very sexy, very fiery, very passionate. I love the Queen of Wands. This means that they really feel as though you would be able to put together a project and handle a project. So say the two of you, the energy that I get here is that you will probably marry probably end up having this really beautiful connection with king and uh, queen of um pentacles energy we've got a lot of king energy which is unbelievably good but what i'm seeing here is that you would be a person who would be able to absolutely take over in their absence should a project be underway and they weren't around, they know they could hand the lead to you and that you would continue to manifest whatever project you're working on. So they really trust you. Wow, you have their back, they have your back because we see this flow of energy. I love, we have one, two, three kings here on the board. Even though that's your energy, they have a really good balance of feminine energy themselves. So you have a good balance of masculine, they have a good balance of feminine or vice versa you both are equally balanced in your yin yang energy spirit is recommending that you hustle baby you have a lot to say life and time is running out not running out but hurry up hurry up that's what spirit is saying two of cups you love each other what are you waiting for ace of cups new beginning in love we have the queen of swords <laughs> no matter how you cut it the queen of swords is looking at her heart it's in your hand we see that there's this offer coming in a cup of love it's almost like and this is pisces energy so we see the energy that your person is sort of looking over here going did i miss something is it my cue it's almost like a stage actor all ready to go on stage and then they look across and go oh my god i don't want to i don't want to miss my moment mr demille i'm ready for my close-up the nine of wands said that both says that both of you will fight for this relationship uh, what I'm seeing is that the burdens will be cast aside, the truth will be told, and we have manifestation with the Empress. Oh my God. All right. So Cancer, let's take a look and see what the energy is here from the Messages of Love Oracle cards. Let's see what the 
what we have. We have spiritual lesson. Well, both of you had to teach one another a spiritual lesson. I think that cancer, you probably taught them the spiritual lesson. I think that's what's going on. Since you're very in touch with your emotions, you're all bossed up. They seem to be struggling a little bit, but you know, it's human nature. We all have our struggles. Intuition, you already know the answer you seek. You know they damn well love you. You know they love you. You know it. You can feel it. They can't hide it. <laughs> Firm boundaries are needed now. And that is to make sure that one person doesn't take control. But there's no way they can. That's their energy. Cancer, that's your energy. Nobody's going to take control of the King of Pentacles. So we love that energy. I love those messages. Let's see what Spirit is giving you as your advice for the end of the reading. I'm so excited. This is such a beautiful reading. I love it. Okay. We have <laughs> unravel, puzzle, conundrum, solution. To me, this is your person kind of just going through this process. I feel as though when you were apart, they just unraveled. And they, it's sort of like, don't go anywhere, Cancer. Bad things happen. Bad things happen when you go away. All right. Well, that's okay. No place like home. You're their home. And to be fair, you know, they want that fairness. They want that balance. They want that very spiritual connection. One more final card for our Cancer friends before we leave the reading today. What do we have for messages? Celebrate the mystery of what is unfolding. Trust the journey. Unexpected secrets that are going to be quite lovely. Take care, Cancer. Love you so much. Bye-bye.